Alpine's Hemp Company. Gummies, seltzers, syrups, and more. Treat yourself to the best. I'm Ralph Mangum, and this is the WHKY News. Let's have a look now at Community Focus. WHKY's Ariana Mack has our weekly arts and entertainment bulletin board with information on the Happy Valley, Fiddler's Jamboree, HCT, The Green Room, The Hickory Fair, The Old Colony Players, and Newton Performing Arts. First, though, we'll check in with the City of Hickory, Sarah Killian, who has the latest on the Lightning Bug Boogie 5K, the Back to School Bash, and the Saturday Film Screening Series. Here's Sarah. Joining me in Community Focus, Communications Specialist Sarah Killian with the City of Hickory Office of Communications. Sarah, what's coming up for the City of Hickory? Well, we have a fun weekend ahead filled with events for the entire family. Grab your headlamps or flashlights and get ready to boogie. Due to inclement weather on August 16th, the Lightning Bug Boogie 5K was rescheduled for this Friday, August 23rd. So if you thought you missed out, you still have time to sign up and race. The night trail run will take place at 9 p.m. on the Lake Hickory Trails. Then on Saturday, August 24th, the Hickory Parks Recreation and Sports Tourism Department will host the Back to School Bash and Dance at Taft Room Park. This fun annual event helps students of all ages get ready to go back to school in style. Kids can get free haircuts, have their faces painted, and win great prizes from 5 to 8 p.m. Then kids in grades 3 through 8 are invited to a back to school dance at the Brown Pen Recreation Center from 7.30 to 9.30 p.m. Another great option for family fun is a movie night downtown. Our last Saturday screening, of the summer at least, is slated for this weekend. Weather permitting, join us downtown on Union Square this Saturday, August 24th at 8.30 p.m. to watch The Princess Bride. This PG-rated 1987 fairy tale adventure comedy follows the story of a swashbuckling farmhand who encounters numerous obstacles, enemies, and allies in his quest to rescue his true love. Concessions and games will be available for the movie, so bring your blankets or your lawn chairs and get ready to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show sounds so great all those great events I hope everyone makes it and also tell me about the grant funding for nonprofits great news it is time for the CRC's fall grant cycle the Hickory Community Relations Council also known as the CRC is currently seeking projects to fund in support of its mission to promote diversity inclusion and positive relationships qualified groups or individuals including local nonprofits, churches, institutions, schools, and 501c3 organizations are encouraged to submit grant requests. Priority will generally be given to projects designed to deliver the greatest impact on positive human relations that are most effective in bringing different subcommunities of Hickory together and that provide services and resources to the people who can most benefit. Visit the city website to learn more and download the grant application grant request must be submitted to the CRC by October 10th. And how can we stay connected with the City of Hickory? As always, for more news and information about what's happening in your City of Hickory, visit hickorync.gov and follow us on social media. Thanks so much for joining us in Community Focus, Sarah. And now I'll add a few more events in your Hickory Metro. Happy Valley Fiddlers Jamboree, formerly known as the Happy Valley Fiddlers Convention, is coming soon, Labor Day weekend. This will be an intimate three-day heritage-focused event at Jones Family Farm on the upper Yadkin River featuring live music, storytelling, cakewalks, contests, and camping. The Yadkin Valley has historically loved and fostered traditional music, so stay tuned. There may be other music events and venues in the valley that are not so labor intensive as a festival. For more information, visit happyvalleyfiddlers.org. Hickory Community Theater's upcoming performance of The Guy Who Didn't Like Musicals will be August 30th through September 14th, Fridays and Saturdays at 7.30 p.m., Sundays at 2.30 p.m., and Thursday, September 12th at 7.30 p.m. in the Jeffers Theater. A brief look into the show, everything in Hatchfield seemed normal until people began singing, then they began dancing, and now a musical pandemic is sweeping the entire city. It's up to Paul, who is an average guy who doesn't like musicals, and his friends to stop this musical apocalypse and fight for humanity's future. Tickets are $18 for adults and $12 for students and youth 18 and under. Tickets may be purchased online at hickorytheater.org. The Green Room Community Theater's 38th season of live theater is about to begin. 
Tickets are on sale now and began August 16th for Legally Blonde. The musical follows a sorority sister, Valley Girl, who goes to Harvard Law School to get her boyfriend back and defies expectations while staying true to herself. Performances are scheduled for August 30th, 31st, and September 1st through the 15th. Tickets are available online at thegreenroomtheater.org or by calling the box office at 828 Four six four six one two eight. Don't miss out on the annual Hickory Fair at the Hickory American Legion Fairgrounds, August 28th through September 2nd. The fair only comes once a year, so enjoy the six-day fair filled with great food, entertainment, and rides and games. For more information and advanced tickets, visit hickoryfair.com. Join Old Colony players for the legend of Sleepy Hollow auditions. This production will invite the audience to take a peek behind the curtain of Sleepy Hollow's most famous and deadly legend. Under the pen of local writer and director Kenneth Davis, we will all find out what truly makes this gruesome specter tick. Auditions for the Legend of Sleepy Hollow will be held Sunday, August 25th and Monday, August 26th at 6.30 p.m. at the Fred B. Cranford Amphitheater. That is all for the Community Focus Bulletin Board. Get out and explore your Hickory Metro. I'm Ariana Mack for WHKY. Thank you, Ariana, and thanks as always to the City of Hickory's Sarah Killian. Now on behalf of Rob Eastwood, Ariana Mack, Jason Savage, and Sarah Killian, I'm Ralph Mangum. Glad to have you all with us. This has been the WHKY News.